Yeah, I saw something on King World News, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's something I actually knew about. I alluded it to on my other video because you know I said there's people. Cyprus is a tax haven. Cyprus, the island of Cyprus, is a tax haven for the European Union, but also for Russian businessmen, and you can call it the Russian mafia, quote unquote. But you know what? It ain't nothing like. <laughs> It ain't the mafia. It's uh, business, you know. They do stuff, but it's like uh, everybody's uh, very educated. A lot of times, they're even PhDs in uh, metals and stuff, you know, metallurgy, and they're smart. They know a lot of stuff. They're very uh, polite talking, you know. Got a lot of degrees. It'll be doctor so and so, but not an MD. I, you know, some people would in Hollywood would call that the Russian mafia, right? Whatever, but Cyprus, uh, that's where a lot of the companies are set up for the Russians, big time. Since they privatized, and uh, actually a lot of the guys that are in uh, business are former KGB. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they got nine point nine percent of their money. I kind of doubt it. I wonder what the hell's going on for real, and you know. I don't know like how much money of the Russians are in there. I'd imagine most of the money in Cyprus, money-wise, not number of depositors, like number of people, probably the majority of depositors are people from Cyprus, but the majority of money is probably from Russia or Latvia. <laughs> Latvia is another place, too. And, uh, you know, they got... Well, they got companies all over, but the reason they use Cyprus, because I said it's a tax haven. So, it's going to be very interesting what really happens. And, uh, I don't know, this could be a major showdown between, uh, you know, the East and the West. Because it's the Western bankers demanding the money, right? So, who are they demanding it from? The broke Cyprus people? Or are they demanding it from Russia? Imagine them trying to get 40% of that kind of money. Now, I seen some things and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> you know, I knew the Forbes list was bull crap, but, you know, they they had a lot of money, man. So, I mean, you know, 40% of a billion or something. Wow. God, it's crazy. So, it looks like, you know, there's something else brewing behind the scenes. And, uh... You know, I don't know what the hell's illegal and illegal. You know, it's like, you know, anything's, you know... <laughs> The master Obama says it's legal, it's legal, right? I mean, it depends on who it is. Eric Holder gets away with everything, too, you know? The same deal. But uh, Cyprus could be a major showdown between the East and the West. And don't go rooting for the uh, Russia. Because I'll tell you right now, those guys ain't freaking cool. Man, in Ottoman, they're screwed up, man. They don't... They're just as bad as... They're just a different kind of elite than the West. That's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, they, they're cheap, too. They don't pay you nothing. They don't give you money for shit. So they're just as bad as any bankster in the West, is, you know, that goes on. But I think this is going to be a major showdown. And uh, it's not going to hit the headlines. But what does it mean for repercussions? You know? I don't know what it means exactly, to tell you the truth. Maybe uh, it could mean that uh, Russia's going to try to to move together with China to bring the West down. I don't know. Could be more currency wars or something like that. You know, Russia's not using the, the reserve, the dollar reserve anymore, as it is. So, and you know, to me, this all just means it's more bullish for gold and, men and silver. Or isotopes, too. You know, isotopes, KC-133 isotope, or whatever the hell you have, like the Russians have. So... It could be, uh, you know, there could be a lot of power struggle going on behind the scenes. I really don't know what it's going to be, though. I really don't know. But on the surface, it's, you're thinking it's a bunch of little people, you know, getting screwed over their little deposits, <clears throat> right? People from Cyprus, people from Greece. No, the majority of the money is actually outside of Cyprus. Companies are set up in Cyprus because it's a tax haven. That's where... <clears throat> the Russians who became businessmen that were former KGB set up their business. And I don't know exactly everything that's in there, but 
Uh, there's stuff in there. They got some freaking money that's astronomical. And, you know, and they say like in Forbes or something, I think there's more billionaires in the world in Moscow than anywhere. There's more than that. There's more than that than that's on that list. They do the same stuff that the little peasants do with gold and silver. They can have tons of metals stored in warehouses that you know, nobody knows about except you know a few people. And these metals are worth more than gold because they're isotopes. You know, look up what casein-133 isotope costs. They can have tons of this shit, kilograms and tons of it actually. You know, 1.5 metric tons. And uh, you figure it out what the hell that is. And you know, the price on that shit varies so much, it's insane. But um, they got companies running in uh, Cyprus. <laughs> so they keep bank accounts in Cyprus, because that's where the company is. And they keep money in Cyprus. Because when you do business in Cyprus, it's taxless. <laughs> so I don't know, there might be a hell of a lot more behind this bullshit move than you think. It might be a struggle between East and West. The Western banksters against the uh, Eastern KGBsters, you know, <laughs> ex KGBsters, whatever you want to call them. Either one of them is no good. I mean, I know, like, a lot of times everybody's like, oh, the banksters, are, the banksters are bad, but they're all bad. So this could be a power play between the two of them. And I don't know what the hell it means, though. But I guess, you know, if you look at it long range, China and Russia do want to collapse the Western economies, and they want to be top dogs. No doubt about it. They might be part of the New World Order, but, yeah, hey, the New World Order is like this, you know. One guy tries to get on top, they're going to get on top. They all work together when it's all in their own interest. But when one wants to say, hey, I can make a move and beat on a top dog, they'll do it. And that's maybe what's going on here. There's a power struggle going on. It's a hell of a lot more than what's meat in the eyes on the surface. And uh, it does show you if the banking system is kind of shaky, doesn't it? So keep your gold and your silver. I just want to point this out, common sense. Don't go thinking just because this happens, silver and gold is going to start going like this immediately. The crap could pull back. You know, it could pull back. You know, as Mark Faber says, the correction period is not quite over with. And, you know... I agree with that because it's stupid stuff. I figured it should be going up by now. I mean, it's it's taken forever. And like looking at the Dow going up and the metal sitting low, like silver's below 30, that ain't good. That ain't good. If silver was up around 38 or something or 40, it was solidly above that 35, 36 level, you know, I could see, hey, you know, it's maybe it's going to keep going. Maybe it'll have a little pullback and keep going. Somehow, the correction period isn't over for the metals. So they could still pull back despite what's going on with this war between the East and the West. <laughs> and I say war because it's probably going to wind up to be that way someday, too. But uh, there's a power struggle going on behind the scenes. It isn't the little depositors that have bank, you know, mom and pop shops in Cyprus. They're going after the Russian businessmen, uh, slash, I don't know if you want to call them mafia or. You know, like PhDs in business, XKGB, you know. They don't act like uh, anything you see on TV, with, you know, on Hollywood. They, they talk real nice, you know. <laughs> very polished individuals, very intelligent, you know. Know a lot about metallurgy and stuff like that. Know all this crap about these isotopes that I don't know. But I just know they're worth a lot of money. And the price goes like this all over the place. Depends on what the buyer is going to pay and what the shortage is at the time. But that's where they do business, in Cyprus. And if they do business there, they got bank accounts there. And that's what the Western elite are targeting. They're targeting Russian ex-KGB business people's bank accounts that are running a lot of stuff through Cyprus. So, this is going to be interesting. I don't really know what's going to happen, though. I mean, you could just guess. But uh, there's more to the story than there is. And I'm not promoting a conspiracy here. This is... <laughs> I know they got freaking companies out there. That's why they, I know they do. That's how it works, man. You got to have the bank account there. You have the company open there. You got the bank account there. And so you do business there. The tax rate's lower. That's why they're all in there. So you figure out how much Russian mafia money is in there. Mafia money, whatever you want to call it. Russian businessman money is in there. How much do you think is in there? 
So it's going to be pretty interesting. I just can only guess what the hell it means exactly because I don't know. I don't know. It looks like a power struggle between the East and the West. So interesting.